Hi, hello, my name is Kenny. I regret the time I started goat farming without knowing the importance of goat feed in your business. That is why today I want to bring you seven tips, seven tips for a successful uh, goat farming business. You are going to enjoy it. It's a beautiful topic and I'm gonna do justice to it. Seven tips, seven tips for a successful goat farming. Number one, pick your speciality. What do I mean by saying that? Okay, so as you can see guys, we are at Rosemo Boer Goat Farm and we are farming only Boer Goats. We have just introduced uh, Kalahari Reds a few months ago and we are farming commercial Boer Goats. And when I say pick your speciality, I mean pick one particular thing that you want to do. A lot of people, when they go into goat production, what they do is they do pig production, they do chickens, they do uh, broilers and all other things. So pick your speciality. Farming is an expensive uh, hobby or business. So pick your speciality, make sure that you master one. Unless or otherwise you are going to be jack of all trades and master of none. And you don't want to be doing that. It is quite expensive when you start your goat business and you want to be, become successful to also start a lot of other things at the farm. So just start with one thing, focus on it until it is successful. That's when you can uh, move into the next thing. Number two, remember the topic guys, seven tips, seven tips for a successful goat farming business. Okay, number two is build a solid team. If you build a solid team, guys, you are going to have a chance at the success of your business. So I've built a nice team here. Number one is Madala. Madala is my dad. My dad is the best, guys. He's an overseer in this area. He's the, he's the man who comes here when I'm not here and oversees that everything is going accordingly. Okay, and then number two, we have our best employee ever. He has t just turned one year here. His name is Temba. I'm sure you guys know him. You know, Temba is the guy who pushes everything here. We are who we are as Rosemo because of Temba. Okay? And number three, we have my wife. My wife is the one who, uh, whenever I sell a goat, the money goes to the accountant. So I'll advise you guys build a team with people that have the know how of business and know that these goats needs to be taken care of, needs to be fed, needs to be, uh, the, the, the trials needs to have water, okay? I am the CEO and the founder of this business. I am the overseer and this is not the only business that I run. As you guys know, we have three farms. So I'm the guy who, who moves from this farm to the other farms. So sometimes I'm not here and sometimes I am in this place. So. You know, build a solid team, okay? A lot of people that are, are starting goat farming and they want to become successful. They always goat farming. I think you should hire right. You know, I've started, I have a video on how to hire the right farm manager for your, for your business endeavor. Number three, do not rely on others. Okay, what do I mean by saying that? I'm not saying don't re rely on your employees. No, 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 no. I'm saying don't rely on your loans and say I'm going to apply for a loan at CEDA and if I don't get that loan, I am not going to do business in Gold for me. However, start with what you have and then when you expand, that's when you can go forth and apply for loan. We don't have any loan here. We have started from zero. So, you know, in our country, a lot of people, we have a lot of schemes, okay? We have limit where the government buys goats for other uh, 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 in, uh, people that wants to get into farming. And they buy you, I think, 10 females and one buck. We have Minister of Youth that buys you over 100 or maybe 60 animals. And then that's local animals. We have different schemes that are given by the government. And then we have the Citizen Entrepreneur Development Agency that can fund, especially for me, but a lot of times they fund anything. And then we have the National Development uh, Bank that also focuses more on to... Uh, farming so 
my advice is don't rely on loan. If you don't get a loan, what are you going to do? Okay? It is hard to get a loan, especially if you are not working. Okay? Loan, in, in our country, they like to see uh, consistency of your income. That's when they can always give you the the loan easily so when you want to become successful in gold farming i'm not yet successful guys i'm just giving you the tips that uh, you know i think i will become successful one day but i'm far from it but i've seen the way i've seen the light and i've seen how i can become successful so that's why i'm giving you these, t these tips guys so if you want to uh, become successful in gold farming don't rely on anyone okay this is your business this is you and your goats and your gold business industry and you must conquer it. Start it with your money and then push. Once you can see that it really needs you to, to go and, and borrow money, that's when you can uh, go and borrow money. And don't just, don't just rely on borrowing money because you know, it takes years for gold farming to, 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 to turn into profitable and you must, you must work hard. You must be strategic. You must always reduce uh, a lot of cost in order for you to become profitable and sell at the right price. Number four, you must start small. If you want to become successful, So, you know, in short, I'm saying start small and build big. Everybody, everybody, even me, I'm dreaming big. Uh, you know, I want to have more animals. I want to have more quality animals. I want to sell more animals in a year. And, and I want to become successful in goat farming. But in order for me to become super, super successful in goat farming, I must start small. I must learn with little animals. We have started with Tswana animals at Rose Mobile Goat Farm, and I'm not successful. You know, there are a lot of peoples and a lot of farmers around me, like Bushra, Start, I love those guys, like Toy Kajiova, of Kajiova Quality Breeders, uh, Chandiba, a lot of uh, farmers are super, super successful. I'm learning from them. I'm not yet successful, but I've seen the way. So, you know, I've started small and I'm running my own race. And I know for sure, for sure, if I follow through and I don't give up, for sure I'll see the light at the end of the tunnel. So start small. You know, we have done a video on how you can start with, you know, 10 females of local Tuanam goats with a start back. You know, they will bring you closer to your dreams. Okay, start small and build your head. I'll give you an example, guys. Go on Facebook and search a lady called Antoinette Dry. She owns a company uh, on Facebook called Kilifi Creek. In 2010, Antoinette started with, 10 go with four Kalahari goats in a 21 hectare uh, land. Today, she has 90 females, breeding females. So you see, she has started with four. She, has, she was able to build her head, and it's a quality head. So a lot of people, when they come here, they see that you possess 186 goats from all your farms. They think you... You have just started yesterday it has taken a lot of time guys and it's not easy it is quite costly you know you have to pay badisa in all of them but it, when you start small you can easily scale don't start there start here and build going up because when you start here it is easier to go there number five is focus on efficiency what do i mean by saying that focus on animals that bring you know quality to your head okay focus also on animals that uh, the females that you know breed two three and four as well as five they will take you faster to your dreams even though they require a lot of attention and a lot of feeding and a lot of medication and all the kids but you know the animals that gives you triplets and twi and 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 and, and quadruplets that are quite uh, efficient and you know you must understand that this is a business just like any other business goat farming is a business just like at any other business it is not immune to profit and loss so at some point you are going to lose money especially when you start the first year the second year you might not pro make profit because you know you are buying feed the animals are not even pregnant some of them are 
uh, empty. So, you know, it's not immune to profit and loss. So, you know, guys, focus on efficiency. Make sure that the things that you do at your, your, at your farm, they are, productive, they are productive and they bring result. Number six, stay true to your identity. Okay, in short means be honest. Okay, the reason why you are having this business and you are still holding on is because it is profitable, it is making you money, and at some point you, you might be tempted to cut corners. Don't cut corners. Remember why you are expanding your business. Remember why you are still in business. It's because you have stayed, you know, true to the identity. Okay? And also, remember that you should be honest. Don't sell cull animals to other farmers. Don't sell, you know, bad animals or cull animals to other farmers and ask for higher prices. A lot of farmers around, they sell cull animals to a lot of new breeders because they don't know about culls. So, you know, and then if you sell a cull animal and that farmer is going to understand that uh, you have sold him a, 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 a cull animal and a cull animal is an animal that is not supposed to breed. So, you know, is, is he going to come? Is he going to come back once he realizes that you have sold him a cull animal? Are you going to get referrals? So at Royce Mobile Goat, when you buy a, a, a goat from us, what do we do? We teach you about the goat. We tell you uh, uh, if, it's, if it's ready, if it's good to breed and if it's not to breed. If it's for meat, me and Temba, we go and buy it. We don't sell cull animals to other farmers. So be, be realistic, be true, and never lose your identity. And remember why you started your farming. You know, if you are not honest, it's going to catch up with you. It's going to catch up with you and very soon you are, not, you are going to be out of business. So in order for you to, to be successful in the long run of this gold farming, be honest and stay true to yourself and to who you are. I'm honest. I'll, I'm always telling people, you know, we are, we are exporting uh, one of these bags, that bag to Zimbabwe next month. So when we are exporting it, I told uh, the guy that buys this bag, I said, you know, this bag, it has everything that is very nice. The head, the horns are super awesome, but it lacks meat in the hand quarters. That is why we are pricing it at that price. But looking at your goat, this goat can do well for you, but the next bag that you are going to buy, you need to buy a bag with nice hand quarters. All right, so be true, be honest. You will see what God will do to you. The last point, number seven. Okay, make sure you reward your team members. Make sure you reward your workers. Okay, at Rosemobo Gold Farm, sometimes I buy a lot of airtime for Temba and Madala, as well as I buy a lot of food. And sometimes all uh, out of the blues, Temba can call me and say, Hey, Chief, can you buy me flying fish or anything? I say, I don't buy alcohol for you, but I always bring uh, something for him and make sure that you also give them commission give them extra hundred bucks if they have done something really really well so you know rewarding your team and motivating them all the time it means that they are going to stay on that toast to bring results they're going to stay on that toast to make sure that everything runs smoothly so you know I, and also don't be a bossy boss don't be a, 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 a boss that is always in a bad mood be friendly with them, laugh with them, talk with them, impart knowledge to them. Give them more than, more than what they need. And you know, you'll see that you will definitely become super successful in gold farming. Guys, we have come to the end of this uh, episode and I'm in love with, with what we have done today. I hope we have done justice to this topic and I want us guys to grow bigger our channel is vigorously growing i want us to grow bigger and better and i need you guys i need you guys if you are new to this channel make sure that you subscribe subscribe ring the bell so that our youtube algorithm can do a lot of things don't forget to thumb up up and you must comment guys i'm always going to be reading your comments at the end of every video so i'm going to be catching up with you and you know i'm going to be reading your and your, your comments guys i love you from the bottom of my heart 
and the team at Rosemo Blow Gold Farm. It is a goodbye and God bless. Ciao, ciao.